Hello, this is Balkoth attempting to give uh, Wizard452 a helping hand. I'll admit right now that this is actually the second time I attempted to do this. The first time I ran into some problems. I was... Basically, uh, I got declared war on, <coughs> and about five turns before I would have been ready for it, and thus I wound up uh, losing. Part of it is that uh, I wasn't aware of a lot of <laughs> the stuff that happened earlier in this game, which, as you might imagine, caused some problems. But uh, this time around, knowing some of that and what happened in the past, uh, before I got involved here, I think I can try to help on the, this. So a few things to notice right off the bat. One, Rome's the powerhouse <coughs> in a lot of ways. Behind on just about everything right now. Um, we were second to last place on soldiers, too. Which isn't necessarily the end of the world, as long as you're actually more advanced. But since we're not more advanced, that's not so great. Um, Rome, I'm assuming, still has... We'll have a bunch of, like, fighters as well, and planes, I think. Yeah. So Rome has a bunch of planes. We don't have any, any anti-air yet. That This is huge. You cannot be this far behind on planes. Um, when we went to plastics, yay, but in this situation we really probably shouldn't have. Refrigeration for submarines would be really nice eventually, but right now what I like I sort of uh, implied at, what we really need to do is get uh, anti-aircraft guns. We need those to defend against the planes. We're going to die horribly without them. We, we need at least like three or four of them ASAP. Um, and the fighters themselves are not going to be so useful because he's going to have a bunch of fighters and he's going to throw them at our fighters and they'll... Basically, if there's five of their fighters, it's going to eventually wear our fighter down. And our fighter's not going to damage their fighters very much. Again, as this kind of boils down to, as I kind of said, we're going to need anti-aircraft and mobile SAMs eventually. If we can get up... Our goal is eventually basically to be able to get up at least like four... Uh, mobile SAMs, and if we can get like four rock, four or five rocket artillery on top of that, we can actually have a good chance of winning this. So that's our goal, and we're going to have to pay people off or whatever, bribe them, whatever we need to do to try to achieve that. So first of all, there's this random scout over here. I don't even know why it's there. It's not doing anything useful. We can put it on our capital so it doesn't cost any maintenance. We do have oligarchy. Finish, not finishing tradition was a very bad idea. If you start it, you want to finish it for the free aqueducts, the 15% growth in all cities, the happiness and wonder production, our rationalism, only go, not picking up humanism and free thoughts also bad. Like you should have committed to liberty or tradition and then gone rationalism. Or may, maybe if you really like hadn't hit commerce yet for some reason, then jumped jumped ahead in tech, picking up like tradition two or three things in that. But I don't see how it would have been possible to nearly fill the whole tree before opening rationalism and being able to get those. Order, socialist realism's fine. Universal health universal healthcare is not. We really want the factory one. Oracle's faculties is fine, but the problem is we actually don't have factories in these three cities right here, and also not in these cities over here. That's not so great. Um, so we're going to be fiddling with some stuff here to try to fix this. So we got an extra culture just by throwing that there. And eventually we will get an extra culture because it's not suffering the 25% penalty. We're being influenced right now by uh, autocracy. However, since Rome is influencing us, it's kind of like whatever. Um, we don't like Rome anyway, so switching to autocracy. Apparently we broke promises to them and they've conquered a lot. We're going to have to go to war against them, so there's no real point in trying to join their ideology. On the flip side... Venice and freedom, Venice and uh, Ethiopia, probably go, Ethi Venice just went freedom. Ethiopia is probably going to go freedom as well, and Venice is actually having a fairly large influence as well. <coughs> so, next turn we're actually going to find that because Venice will start influencing us, and so one of the things we're actually going to do is we're going to try to switch over to freedom. I think this would have. So this is something I should have done last game. I tried to stick it out as order. I was just in too bad of a position. Uh, as a result from where we were. 
So first thing we're going to do is throw out bribes. Saluti. You're the best, Venice. Take my gold. Benissimo. And then I will take your Veni gold. Venivanti. Ethiopia, you're cool too. I'll give you money, and then we're also going to take some of your coal. Say I'll give you three aluminum back, since I don't need that right now. You're fine with that. Um, you don't really like me, Arabia. Oh, in the whole But I'm gonna bribe you as well. I'm gonna throw you. An, I'm gonna just actually throw you a salt flat out. Actually, no, I'm going to bribe you. Hasanan jiddan. Then how much can I get for you for the salt? Mahada. Five, maybe? Five, okay. So it basically cancels out. Didn't really lose anything there. But they like us more. Catherine and uh, Rome, though, they're basically just a lost cause. On the flip side, if we go to global politics, we'll notice that Rome's denounced everyone. Everyone's denounced Rome. We haven't denounced Rome. So we're going to denounce Rome, because everyone will then like us more. And this will hopefully prevent them from denouncing us and hating Quidris. us. Ediam. Publicly denounced you. And now, hey, we've denounced the same leaders. We've denounced the same leaders. We've denounced the same leaders. And then we're going to go freedom, and we're basically going to try to be very buddy-buddy with them. Because basically, we don't want to engage in a multiple front war. Our goal is to basically say... We are going to piss Rome off. That's fine. I'm not actually worried about Rome attacking this very second. I am worried about him attacking later. Well, let me first say, I am semi-worried about Rome attacking this very second. I don't think he's actually going to do it, though. He's going because he, although the planes are very powerful, they don't use them all that well. And this great war infantry are not going to do much against the Ottomans infantry here. We have this crossman. I'm not even sure really why. But we can at least move these around. We're going to send some of these guys to different towns. Throw an artillery. Wait, what? Throw an artillery into the sort of capital, or the building here. General in there and to protect him as well. And we're going to spend our gold promoting some of these guys. And repositioning in a defensive posture. Wittenberg is allied with Rome, so I sh will expect an attack from them eventually. But hopefully that won't be for a bit. Is there anything else I wanted to do? <coughs> oh, yes, World Congress stuff. Saluti. I don't want to have Ande that, avanti. so you will give me, I think, was it 200 gold or 150 gold? Sta offerta non sarà valida per tanto They tempo. They gave me 150 gold for doing what I'm just going to do anyway, so, you know, not hugely concerned there. Um, we want to eliminate some of our trade routes with Rome and get them going to Venice. We're going to try to make a freedom coalition to stand against the autocracy to our west, and then, of course, being freedom, we're going to invade. We need to fiddle with our setup here. Something I noticed, our, we have our Writers Guild here, our Artists Guild here, sorry, Musicians Guild here, and our Artists Guilds here. And that's really a bad idea on multiple levels. One, you lose the Hermitage output, uh, which is plus 50%, so we're effectively losing out on like six extra culture per turn we could be getting for free. Uh, we want to grow the Capital Biggest tradition anyway, which means we're not getting, which means it's easy to fill those specialist slots. So we're losing out on that benefit, and we're losing out on the National Epic 25% percent, percent, uh, to great people because they're not all in the same city. So you really want all three in the same city. Even if it's not the capital, especially if you're Liberty, there might be a better city, but you still want all three to be in the same city, and it's not, and that's hurting us. Um, so we don't want the factory stuff right now, actually. Or maybe we're going to have to, let's see. Let's soup up the capital. So we want that, we need that. We'll take these for the hydro plant eventually. <coughs> Put that there. Put there. We'll check off all of these. Ones that we absolutely need. And this is where we want. Okay, so we have 
three specialist slots that we can use for other stuff. <coughs> and we're just going to have to put them in uh, factory type stuff. So whatever. We're unhappy. We, we can't be growing anyway, so we'll just deal with that. Then over here, um, we want the university to be filled. Again, we want to uh, maximize our production. Pick the good tiles for sure. <coughs> this is actually set up fine right now. We just did that sort of automatically, I guess. Not bad. Lock all of these in. So we have a decent chunk of production. We want to get a factory up, though. <coughs> like so. That'll help as well. <coughs> then, uh... We want to do something similar here. Then we want science. Basically, we want the good tiles with the bonus stuff. Then beyond that, I'm not even too concerned about like the jungle tiles. We may not have a ton of choice. Put that up there, that freeze up that. So now we're neutral on food. <coughs> I'll probably build a farm down here so we can use that. We don't have much production here, as you can tell. Factory will help with that, though. Tradition, especially, you shouldn't have 13 citizens. This is epic speed, by the way, so we're really only in turn, like, uh, 260. But this is a lot smaller than they should be, quite frankly. Um, yeah. I'm trying to figure out if I can effectively use that mine. What's my s progress like? It's nearly grown. I think that's going to be worth it for the extra production right now. Yeah, it's starving slightly, but it's going to take a long time before that matter. We can get food ships up and some other stuff. And yes, control again. We need science. And then we want the good tiles. <coughs> so if we add all this up. We have two extra food. I'm not sure there's a really good way to deal with this. You give it the science for more production here, maybe. Best case. 55 to 57. Yeah, let's go with it. We'll starve a little bit. But we'll pick that up soon enough once we get our happiness back under control. And then we can't adjust anything for these, obviously, right now, because they're puppets, and they have some wonders in them, and that's nice, but still not in the best situation. And you need to just get the factory up, too. <coughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so we're going to try to ask Venice if they want a defensive pact. Saluti. He doesn't want it, okay. That'd be nice. <coughs> the next turn we should be get press pressured by Venice, I think.
If you're curious, the first time I didn't denounce Rome on that turn, and I got denounced and sort of chain denounced by Arabia, Venice, and Ethiopia, because they all went buddy-buddy. And that did set the kind of a bad tone, since I basically people who hate me on my right and people who hate me on my left, and I'm behind on tech. <coughs> Not a very good situation. So now if I check, I still prefer autocracy apparently right now. More money per turn right there. Artillery, you can just rest. Crossbow man, you can chill. You can chill. All oh, you guys are basically just hanging out right now. Let me view up there. Sometime in the next few turns, we should actually be flipped to the point where uh, we start wanting freedom instead of autocracy, and when that happens, then we flip over. <coughs> So it used to be going to a city from Rome, I think. Yeah. But we don't want Roman influence anymore. So we're going to try sending this to, like, Venice. Our goal is to uh, fortify against Rome. <coughs> Become buddy-buddy with these other guys. Ethiopia took freedom. There we go. Oh, spies is another thing I need to fix. Some of these are just in not very good spots. So I'm going to send you to uh, Byblos. So I'm going to try to befriend that. Moscow, I'm just going to move flat out to Rome Rome. Then need to add in some other stuff over here. A very weird sort of road, kind of odd location. So Rum is just being kind of stupid here, whatever. <coughs> we need 13 gold from Venice here, that's a lot nicer. Really the problem is that Rome's going to try to build up its military and then invade us. You see they've already upgraded all their stuff to infantry. Am I pressured more by freedom yet? I am. <coughs> Excellent. So what I'm going to do then is we're going to swap to freedom. Then we actually have some uh, mints and stock exchanges. So look, we're at eight happiness now, everyone. Look at that! Woohoo! And now, as a result, we can focus a bit more on actually growing. <coughs> oh, 
Actually, do I... Am I still able to grow even though... I guess I can still grow during the Anarchy. Nice. So I'm just going to shift everything pretty much over to pure food for these two turns. Nice. Same thing here. Uh, if it's pure production or whatever, then it's no good to us. We actually want to try to grow. Don't think I can really add more to that right now, though. This, we're going to rip those away. Add that in. Add that in, I guess. Don't think there's too much more food I can grab. I guess I'll grab that. Capital's already grabbed a bunch of food. So grab even more. set everything to food focus just to be safe. We're losing two turns here and it's semi-annoying but I think it'll pay off. So now suddenly, everyone likes me. Freedom ideology, public declaration, friendship trader recently denounced the same leaders. Arabia is still not, you know, the ma massive, but much better relations with these other folks. And that's going to be huge, I think. So I'm going to get a road. Going there. Then we'll be back to business this next turn. basically going to tear up some of these road tiles to make a faster trip. That's our goal. And they lost the whales, so well, it happened. Now we also did lose the like double bonus on the factories, which is kind of more annoying. And we lost obviously production since I shifted to growth. But like I said, this should pay off overall. <coughs> I guess I technically can't remove that yet, can I? Have to wait for the other thing to finish. Just making a lot more gold here, as you can see. This is upgraded from a Genissary, this is not. <coughs> Let's 
So we're going to Riga. So as it's actually still okay, because we need a lot of gold right now. Try to build Statue of Liberty in Instable next. I'm not sure if I can do it, but we'll see. <coughs> I think uh, Venice is already working on it. If we had finished uh, tradition, I could engineer rush it, which is what I'd prefer to do. I'll lose the city connection there. No, we won't, because we still have it overcast, so we're fine, actually. Gonna get railroad stuff up. from that anymore, so we're going to go to Erudine, we're going to feed Instable with and I think Venice is going to finish the Statue of Liberty like any turn now, I don't think I'm actually going to reasonably get it. The good news is I should get a lot of gold for it, which I'll want to upgrade some troops. Tell me in Venice. Salut. Do you want Linamon? No. Do you want horses? No. Good gold from that. Do you want horses? Do you want Linamon? Yes. I do want Linamon. You want Linamon? You want Linamon? So there's extra income again. <coughs> 641 science already, not bad. La offerta non sarà valida per tanto tempo. Pensegue. It's not that I really mind this, it's more that you don't want to circle landmarks too much. La offerta non sarà valida per tanto tempo. Pensegue. How much is that worth to you? La offerta non sarà valida per tanto tempo. Pensegue. Not against it, trying to get a research agreement in general, but right, right now I'm more concerned about just trying to survive. Have the money to upgrade the troops and rush by some stuff. So. I think I'm going to try to focus more on Instable's production here, though. And I don't think I filled the research lab. I didn't fill the research lab. So you're going to be production focused. Speeds it up slightly. 20 turns is probably too many still. <coughs> you know what happens, happens.
Yeah, not even close. But I'll get a decent chunk of gold from that at least. Two hundred eighty-four. Um, we apparently have a ship run running around. Okay. We are down to only two happiness. That's not so great. Good rolling on that, would you? And I'm basically having to pop like great scientists or whatever here to try to focus on getting uh Ethiopian Venice. So we have three positives. Three positives. Haley I think is considered friendlier, so let's try. Friending him first. Perfect. <coughs> Everyone on this group likes me, because we're all free. I think we're going to go for a golden age at this point. It's a lot more money. A lot of temporary culture. <coughs> Speeding up the production of stuff that gives happiness. Like... Nuka Dwachet Stein thingy. I'm going to bribe Biblos in a moment here. So our elections rigged in eight turns at that point we can become their ally. That's the goal at least. Not sure why we have a frigate rather than a privateer doing this, but whatever. Twelve turns till we can start pumping out the anti-aircraft units we desperately will need.
I'm gonna actually pick the tradition thing, just so I can also maybe rush another wonder. I guess if I'm building Nekachewichistein, then it's not such a high priority. want the second thing in freedom though, so I'll probably pick the thing. Yeah. We do need to stop growth in our cities now though, or we're going to lose the happiness. More importantly, we're going to lose the uh, positive 10% bonus from rationalism. <coughs> Well, that can technically run, that can grow, grow without a problem. So basically we're probably going to have three turns of unhappiness, roughly. Annoying, but... What can you do? Perfect, we got ballistics, okay. You were going to start on your anti-aircraft cannons. In fact, you are also going to start on anti-aircraft cannons. And in fact... I'm just going to try to buy one right here. Oh, I can actually buy these with uh, faith. That may be handy. drop into unhappiness here until we can become friends with Biblos. Which we will be in a few turns. And we uh, are probably going to want civil society, really. The problem is we can't really be growing right now. We need happiness. But National Wonders, I don't think, is like more than five or six happiness at the moment. Let's go for the more great people. Already behind me, some other stuff. Sad day. Three turns till happiness again. have to go on another turn or two and we'll have to resume this later. This is kind of situation where I'm thinking I want to get the uh, research lab up but I need to get up the military defense right now. 
Well, I'll already have three, won't I? Okay, if I already have three, it's probably not as big of a deal. I can finish that windmill. You'll feed in Stambul. time for happiness again, at least a small amount. Then once we get the half specialists thing, that'll help our help happiness a hell of a lot more. literally just need like seven more turns until we're pretty secure. Oh, we're getting election zero turns, right. Alright, would you like me? Oh right, we're at war with Cape Town for some reason, I have no idea why. Good gold from Venice. Continue our railroad here. Now we need the culture bonus. Alright, then we're going to have to stop for here, we'll resume later.